Meta AI just released a new artificial intelligence model, and I think it's very interesting because it is dedicated to smartphones. I want to talk to you about this and two other very curious and I would say fascinating things that happened related to Meta, but we'll get to that at the end of the video. Anyway, this new AI is called Mobile LLM, and it's a new small language model, SLM, that's all set to run on your mobile device. Now, I think Mobile LLM is cool because this model is crafted to tackle on-device applications while keeping the energy consumption low during model inferencing tasks, at least according to a recent paper from Jan LeCun, Meta's chief AI scientist. Now, let's break it down a bit. When we talk about large language models, LLMs, like Mistral 22B with its whopping 22 billion parameters, or the massive GPT-4 with 1.76 trillion parameters, we're talking about some serious computing power needed. But here's where it gets interesting. Small language models like Microsoft's Phi 3 family, which I talked about some weeks ago, start with a more manageable 3.8 billion parameters. So why does this matter? Well, each parameter is like a decision point, helping the model decide the best answers to give to our queries. Fewer parameters mean we can run these models on less beefy setups like our smartphones without needing a supercomputer. However, I guess the guys at Meta are onto something big. They believe we can actually craft super effective small language models with less than a billion parameters. You know, folks, that's pretty impressive because uh, this could totally revolutionize the use of generative AI on mobile devices, which, let's face it, don't pack the same computing punch as a server or a whole rack. Another pretty cool thing is that they ran real-world experiments with models designed uniquely, one with 125 million and another with 350 million parameters. What they discovered was pretty groundbreaking. Models that are deeper rather than wider could actually crank up performance. Now, that's quite something, guys. Did you ever imagine anything like this could happen? Uh, let me know. Comments below. Bucking the trend, these meta-researchers are challenging the usual bigger data, more parameters mantra. Their findings highlight something intriguing. The architecture of a model, especially at the sub-billion parameter level, is crucial. By focusing on sleek, deep structures and smart tricks like embedding sharing and ground querying attention mechanisms, they've birthed a beast they call Mobile LLM. Now, this mobile LLM could be a game changer, folks. It boasts a stunning 2.7% slash 4.3% accuracy improvement over the best 125M, 350M models out there. And guess what? In practical tasks like chatting and handling API calls, this little baby stands toe-to-toe -to -toe with behemoths like Llama 2. But while you can't yet find mobile LLM in any of Meta's apps, the team's thrown open the doors to their lab work, publishing both the code and data alongside their paper for all the tech enthusiasts and developers out there to geek out over. So let's see some juicy details, folks. Firstly, key innovations in mobile LLM include several strategic advancements. Emphasis on model depth over width. As I said before, this approach prioritizes the depth of the model, enhancing its ability to process information more effectively. Next, we have the uh, addition of embedded sharing and grouped query attention. These techniques optimize resource utilization and improve the model's efficiency. Finally, we have the use of novel blockwise weight sharing technique. That's quite a name, but basically, this innovative method allows for sharing weights within immediate blocks, reducing the overall computational load. So, yeah, folks, these design choices have enabled mobile LLM to outperform previous models of similar size by 2.7% to 4.3% in common benchmark tasks. While these improvements might appear modest, they represent significant progress in the competitive field of language model development. Then, the 350 million parameter version of mobile LLM achieved accuracy compared to the much larger 7 billion parameter Llama 2 model in certain API calling tasks, which is really impressive. I guess this indicates that for specific applications, more compact models can provide similar functionality while consuming substantially fewer computational resources. Okay, I really think the development of mobile LLM is part of a broader shift towards more efficient AI models. 
As the progress in very large language models begins to plateau, the research community is turning its attention to smaller, more specialized designs that prioritize efficiency. That's why we're talking of smaller models like mobile LLM in the emerging category of small language models, SLMs, despite the LLM in its name suggesting otherwise. Overall, I think the creation of mobile LLM is really interesting because it challenges the prevailing belief that effective language models need to be extraordinarily large. And I guess this opens up new possibilities for AI applications that are both accessible and sustainable for personal device integration. Now, folks, let's talk about that previously mentioned really cool thing that happened related to Meta, which I promised to tell you about at the beginning of the video. A former scientist at Meta made an impressive discovery. An AI model that deciphers the language of proteins, one of the largest models developed specifically for biological applications, has recently been utilized to engineer new fluorescent models. This groundbreaking demonstration was unveiled this month by Evolutionary Scale in New York City. The cool takeaway from this? The company secured a significant $142 million in new funding aimed at leveraging this model for drug development, sustainability initiatives, and other fields. So listen to this next part, folks, because it's pretty impressive. Alex Rives, the chief scientist of Evolutionary Scale, emphasized the goal of making a biological program. The company's AI tool, ESM3, a protein language model, has been trained on over 2.7 billion protein sequences and structures and can generate proteins as specified by users, similar to how chatbots like ChatGPT produce text. I mean, that's great! Then, Anthony Gitter, a computational biologist, believes ESM3 will be a significant model in the field of biology. You know, folks, previously at Meta, Rives and his team developed ESM2, which contributed to a database of 600 million predictive protein structures. Their models have been used by other teams to enhance antibody activity and re-engineering proteins for more efficient gene editing. This year, Rives' team revamped the green fluorescent protein, GFP, originally isolated from a bioluminescent jellyfish in the 1960s and used to label proteins under microscopes. But before you click off and move on to your next video, I want to give you the next little tidbit from Meta. Meta AI on WhatsApp will soon let us modify and edit photos. Basically, users will be able to engage with features akin to ChatGPT, including the ability to generate images directly within the app. But it doesn't stop there. Meta is pushing new AI functionalities in WhatsApp's latest beta version, 2.24.14.20 where users get to explore two exciting features. First, they can upload a photo, ask detailed questions about it, and second, they can have the photo edited on the fly using just text prompts. So whether snapping a new pic using the camera button or uploading an existing one, users will have the control to interact with their images like never before. Then it seems that Meta is ensuring privacy, allowing users to delete their photos anytime, although the AI does analyze aspects like facial features during processing. Well, let me know in the comments what you think about this, folks. I'm very curious to hear what you have to say. Anyway, while it's still under wraps exactly how extensive the image editing capabilities of Meta AI are, if other AI-powered tools are anything to go by, users might soon enjoy options like removing objects, swapping out backgrounds, or tweaking the image aesthetically directly within WhatsApp. This AI is based on Meta's most advanced generative model, Llama 3, which I talked about some weeks ago, and supports multimodality. It understands and responds to text, voice, and images, enhancing user experience across multiple dimensions. Okay, folks, these all seem like really cool updates. Let me know what you think about Meta's new mobile LLM, the discovery by the former Meta scientist, and the AI update on WhatsApp. As always, see you in the next one, folks. You all take care.